What's up, guys? Welcome back. Um, we have something a little bit different, um, something I've been trying to find. Um, so hopefully this will suffice for the time being. Um, trying to find like inf not information, but like documentary type videos on Jasu and, and Jenny from Blackpink. So um, I, I think I found something that could work. <laughs> so um, I'm going to give it a shot. So let's get it. All right, guys. Um, <clears throat> so, like I was saying, um, I'm I'm desperately, desperately trying to find um, like documentary type videos um, on Jasu and Jenny from Blackpink. I've I've done them from Rose and 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 uh, Lisa, as you know already, and those were actually um, actual documentaries of them. Um, so with that, I've been trying to like surf around and try to find something. <clears throat> that would suffice as kind of, um, I guess I would call it a knowledge bomb on, you know, these individual uh, women. Um, and I'm going to try this one out and see if, if this one can kind of give me a, a backstory. I don't know, like being if it's fan made, it's going to be different or, um, or whatnot. So we're going to give it a shot. I'm going to see what happens. Um, so we'll, we'll see what we get. As Jisoo's solo debut is coming soon, people are excited and wondering what kind of song she is going to release. <coughs> As we all know, she is the last Blackpink member to release her solo song. And Jisoo fans have been asking for her solo for years. Gladly our wishes came true. To celebrate her solo debut, let's get into her story to stardom. The story of Jisoo. Kim J yeah, like I said, it, it you know it, it could be um, a whole lot different. Meaning, you know, I know there are actual documentaries out there, but the problem I'm having is when I go to those videos, they're no longer available. So that that's why I'm kind of, uh, I guess, in a, a lighter term, settling <laughs> for a video like this to kind of give me some insight on um, who they are. Um, I, I know when <clears throat> on those reaction videos, it probably about two or three years old. Um, so I certainly missed it. That, that's for sure. But, um, trying to find the actual documentary is tough. The story of Jisoo. Kim Jisoo was born on January 3rd, 1995 in Gunpo, Jeonggi province, South Korea. That makes her 28 years old. She has an older brother and sister. As a child she played basketball and took taekwondo lessons and was a huge fan of legendary boy band TVXQ. Taekwondo? You gonna whoop your <laughs> She attended the famous School of Performing Arts Seoul High School. In 11th grade, she joined a drama club at school and earned more experience in the entertainment industry by attending auditions. Prior to YG, Jisoo lived with her parents, siblings, and grandparents. In 2011, Jisoo joined YG Entertainment as a trainee after passing its auditions. She trained hard for five years to be able to make her dreams come true. I already mentioned in Jenny's video how much they had to go through during the Terrani period. Jisoo was slowly, and cryptically, introduced to the general public, with YG initially unveiling her as Mystery Girl Number 2, before her picture and name were revealed in early 2013. During her trainee days, in 2014, she appeared in Epic High's music video 4 Spoiler Plus Happen ending as a heartbroken girl. The same year, she starred in Hai Suyin's music video for I'm Different as Icon Bobby's Girlfriend. In 2015, Jisoo made a cameo appearance in the KBS2 drama The Producers with label mates Sandara Park of 2NE1 and Kong Sun Yoon of Winner. As well, she landed endorsement deals with brands like L. See, th this is this is the kind of stuff I I'd love to know. It's just like I. She acted. She, well, I mean, not like full on acted, but like did a little here and there, little bits and pieces. So. Um, that, that's pretty cool to know. Um, 
to anyone uh, that's another um, a group um, that I've been asked to react to um, I believe if I if I remember correctly I think somebody said they had, they're no longer together but it's still something I'd like to check out so G Nikon <laughs> and Samsonite Interest was so high that Jasu received an offer to join rival label SM Entertainment when a manager tried to recruit her at a concert. Prior to their 2016 oh, oh, summer date. Pa pause. Pause. I'm sorry, that they're. And Kong Sun Yun of Winner. As well, she landed endorsement deals with brands like LG, Nikon, and Samsonite. Interest was so high that Jasu received an offer to join rival label SM Entertainment when a manager tried to recruit her at a concert. Her eyes? Holy crap! The, just like the other, she, she's absolutely stunning. I mean, those eyes... The, those eyes could pierce the soul. Um, wow. 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 Prior to their 2016 summer debut, the Blackpink members were unveiled with a week-long images showcasing their diverse looks. Blackpink debuted on August 8, 2016, alongside Jenny, Rose, and Lisa, with the release of their single album Square One. Kim Jisoo positions are lead vocalist, visual end, as well keeping the group's vocal harmonies together. Fellow member Jenny told Billboard magazine that Jisoo would be the quiet one, but then she'd be like, how about this? She'd make this harmony, and we were like, that's so good, and then in an hour have another amazing harmony. Jisoo looks out for her bandmates in her role as Blackpink's senior member. The singer keeps an eye on the other members to make sure they don't get hurt. That's right. You don't mess with a woman that knows Taekwondo either. Whoop your ass up and down. <laughs> Jisoo is also known for her unpredictable and quirky 4D personality that comes out during TV shows and live events. Their debut song, Bumbaya, was a massive hit. On YouTube, now it sits at 1.5 billion views. The wow. girls smashed the music scene with their debut. Their second debut song, Whistle, as well, was very successful. From 2017 to 2018, Jisoo joined Inkigayo as a host alongside GOT7's Jin Young and NCT's Doyoung. She first ventured into acting in 2019 with a short cameo appearance in the TVN fantasy drama Arthur Chronicles as Song Joong Ki's love interest. During that time, Blackpink kept releasing hit after hit. In June 2020, Jisoo's style in the teasers for Blackpink's single How You Like That went viral on social media. Celebrities and influencers in South Korea, China, Thailand, and Vietnam replicated her two-bow hairstyle and makeup, which Jisoo created herself. The same year, Jisoo took part as writer on the lead single Lovesick Girls of Blackpink's first studio album, The Album. Jisoo made her acting debut in the 2021 JTBC television series Snowdrop, where she co-starred with Yoon Hae-in. She portrayed Eun Young Oro, a college freshman who was kidnapped by her love interest. In four of the five countries where it was made available, including South Korea, the show rated first on Disney+. Jisoo won the Outstanding Korean Actress Prize at the Seoul International Drama Awards in September Okay, so she can act. She can act. That's, I like that. Available, including South Korea, the show rated first on Disney+. Plus. Jisoo won the Outstanding Korean Actress Prize at the Seoul International Drama Awards in September 2022 for her work in Snowdrop. In 2022, Jisoo contributed songwriting credits once again to Yeah Yeah Yeah, the fourth track from Blackpink's second studio album, Born Pink. When I look back at the time that's passed, it makes me think that I'm actually quite a strong person, she told El Korea in 2019. Even when I was going through difficult times, I never really thought about relying on others. I think it's because of the tough times I endured alone that I was able to become this strong. Jisoo made Gallup Korea's top 20 list of the nation's favorite K-pop idols in both 2018 and 2019. A similar survey given to 100 K-pop idols saw Jisoo ranked as one of the prettiest stars among her peers in 2018.
Jisoo was included in the ranking for the top 10 celebrities and influencers leading the world of cosmetics for the first five months of 2020. In December 2019, Jisoo became a local ambassador for Dior's cosmetics brand, Dior Beauty. In 2020, Dior's increase in sales during the COVID-19 pandemic in South Korea was also attributed to a marketing campaign with Korean pop singers, including Jisoo. Her attendance at the showcase earned Dior its highest-rated post, with an average of 33% MIV since its fall 2020 show. In March 2021, creative director Maria Grazia Chiuri revealed that Dior's autumn-slash-winter 2021 collection was inspired by Jisoo. On May 25, 2022, Cartier announced Jisoo as their brand ambassador, joining the Panther de Cartier community. On January 3, 2023, her 28th birthday, Jisoo created her personal YouTube channel named Happy Jisoo 103%. She expressed that the proceeds from her newly established channel will be donated to charity. I want to tell you... See, well, <clears throat> when stars um, or celebrities do things like that, it's, I think it's absolutely amazing. It, it, shows, it shows me what kind of character they have. Um, that they're they're wanting to give back um, to the people who have given to them. I think that's I think that's truly amazing. Young girls to try thinking of their future selves as their role models, rather than chasing after someone else. I hope that they will confidently walk their own paths while looking towards the tomorrow of their dreams. I myself have tried following people around me and I've got lost and ended up feeling emptiness rather than a sense of accomplishment. I'd like everyone to find their own role models within themselves. Jisoo is one of the nicest K-pop idols and deserves all the success. I can't wait for what she has to offer. On March 31st, her debut song is going to be released called Flower. For sure. Which by the way was amazing. It's gonna be a hit song. Thank you for watching and see ya. All right, guys. So that was uh, my reaction to the story of uh, Jisoo. Um, exactly kind of, you know, what I wanted to see. Um, I'm sure the documentary went further. You know, it probably dove further into her uh, past or career and things like that. But this is this is uh, kind of what I was hoping to see so that this um, this works for me <laughs> um, so if, if you guys enjoyed it um, just let me know down below um, or if there's another kind of a documentary or some sort of video you want me to check out about uh, Jisoo um, let me know also if you're new feel free to subscribe like comment share also um, if you have your own suggestions, drop them down below. I'll do my best to get to them as soon as possible. Um, so what I'm going to do is hop out of this one, and then I'm going to find something similar um, for Jenny, uh, because Jenny would be the, the last one I um, I would like to know a little bit more about her background and, and things like that. But <clears throat> like I said, th this is kind of what I was hoping to, to find. Um, so that this video did a, a, a good job of... of um, give me a little bit more um, of Jisoo's past and, and kind of how she came up and things like that. So with all that, guys, thank you so much for your support. I truly appreciate it. And I will see you soon on the next one. Thank you.